What's up guys? This is the only Ninja Warring Aviators and a Superhero Hat bringing you yet another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This time, I am not alone. This is going to be the first, um, I guess, cooperation, a collab, collab's the word, collab's the word I'm looking for. This is going to be the first collab um, with the Instagram Momoku clan. If you don't know who they are or what they are, um, definitely check out the links in the description. Uh, but the first, this first one, uh, today we're going to be going with my boy Lee. He is an amazing artist, an awesome swordsman, and he's going to be teaching you just a little something, something. So, let's get started. What's good, everybody? It's your resident Nunchuck Ninja Lee. Um... Everybody wants a katana. Everybody wants a sword because it looks cool. They want to spin it around. They want to slash stuff. Um, and then they get the katana and they realize, like, yo, I don't know how the heck to close this. And it's scary because there's a blade on it. And I'm like, yeah, of course it is. Um, so as a result, this took a long time to figure out how the heck to do. But I basically put a strap around my sword so that not only can I wear it on my back, but I can pull it out. Because otherwise, you'd have to wear a belt and then, like, notch it through the belt. And that's a whole bunch of work to do. So, first thing you do is decide like which side you want it to come out of. Because when the, the little arch is facing down, then it'll open with the blade out like that. But, when the arch is facing up, you have to take it out and then flip it. And then bring it down so that the blade is facing towards your opponent. But, I'm going to show you how to close it because that's very important. First thing you do, obviously, is open it. And then you put your finger right on the hole. And there's a thing called a blood groove in a katana, which is this little, this little line right here. And so you find the blood groove with your finger and you just trace the blood groove until you can pinch it with both your thumb and your index finger. And by then, you'll feel it go into the scabbard and it's inside. Again, you take it out, you feel the blood groove and it's in. Black Solo Soul, a dope dude, told me that you never, ever, 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 ever lift the sword when you close it. So as a result, I've adopted this habit. You can also do it this way where you bring it in and you feel it by pressing the blade to your thumb. And then you go in. But that's dangerous because if I do it fast, that happens and I almost cut myself then. So as a result, I like the blood group method. You don't really have to close it fast. Like, as long as you open it fast, that's all that matters. Plus, closing it fast looks way cooler. Peace. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, Lee, very much for doing this video with me. Uh, I'd love to do a lot more. And if you want to see him in more videos on this channel, whether that be, you know, his, own, uh, his you know, Combat for Dummies episodes, his Fight Like a Superhero episodes, or even a series just about him, like that he does on his own. That's not, you know, doesn't involve me at all. So if any of that uh, interests you, de definitely let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see more of him right now, definitely go on Instagram and check him out. I'll have his name somewhere on the screen around here somewhere, probably right here, to be honest. It's probably going to be right here. Uh, and uh, I'll have it down in the description for, for those of you guys that, you know, just would rather click a link. I'll have a link to his channel or his account on Instagram in the description. He does a lot of videos, a lot of art stuff. Uh, if you are interested at all in that, definitely go check him out. I hope to personally work with him a lot more in the future. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell so you are notified when I post next. And until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.